गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर गुड लेट एस स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ आर सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर चैप्टर टू ब्रिंगिंग अप कैरी स्टोरी अबाउट अ बेबी एलिफेंट इन दिस स्टोरी द नरेटर टेल्स अस वेन ही वॉज नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड बॉय ही वॉज गिवेन अ फाइव मंथ ओल्ड बेबी एलिफेंट नेम कैरी टू एक्ट एज अ स्क्योर टेकर फ्रेंड एंड कीपर दिस स्टोरी इज अडेप्टेड फ्रॉम carry the elephant where only the first extract of carry as a baby elephant is shared with us in the whole story author narrates how he grew up along with carry what he used to feed him how carry became more and more sensitive and intelligent he also shares his act of bravery along with his naughty deeds he also tells us how sometimes instead of carry he has to take his punishment so let us begin this is interesting story written by dhan gopal mukherjee paragraph 1 in the first paragraph narrator states that when he was 9 years old he was given a 5 months old elephant to take care of he says he was so small that he only reaches his back standing on tiptoe they both remained of same height for 2 years The elephant lived in a pavilion under a thatched roof, rested on three thick three tree stumps. Few words in the passage: tiptoe, standing on toes. Pavilion, an open area. Thatched roof, having roof made of dried grass and tree stumps means tree edges, giving support to the thatched roof. In the first paragraph, narrator tells us that he was given a baby elephant when he was nine years old to take care of him, and he used to reach his back standing on his toes, and they both remained of same height for two years. Then afterwards, the elephant will grow at much faster rate. So he rested in a pavilion. He used to live there, and the narrator used to take care of him. Paragraph two. In the second paragraph, narrator shares the first incident happened with Kari. How he saved the life of a boy, and he also shares how Kari behaved, what he ate, how Kari used to behave with others. Kari was young and ate forty pounds of twigs. He had a very large meal. He used to have a small green branch of a tree called as twigs a day. He used to go for bath with the narrator to the river. As the elephants love bathing in the river, he also used to go with the narrator for bathing at the river. Kari used to lie down on the sand bank in order to clean him. He used to lie on the sand and he used to rub sand over his body for an hour. And the narrator also used to rub the sand on his body in order to clean him and give the coolings to his body. after which he lied in the river for long time and after that he used to take a long bath in the river coming out he used to appear shiny like ebony he used to look very shiny and cleaned up and used to squeal with pleasure as he used to rub his back as the narrator used to rub his back when he used to come out he felt a great pleasure to have such a great company of the small boy the narrator used to take him by his ear back to home he used to take him back by holding his ear as this is the easiest way to lead an elephant kari was left on the edge of the jungle by the boy collected the twigs for him now the twigs that kari used to eat 40 pounds of twigs a day was collected by the boy and while he used to collect the twigs he was left at the edge outside the jungle and the boy used to go inside climbing the tree and used to collect the twigs for him it took about half an hour for the boy to cut and sharpen the hatchet because the mutilated twigs are never touched and eaten by an elephant it took a great courage and a great hard work to the boy to arrange the twigs for the elephant as an elephant never eats the damaged twigs new words to learn in the passage twigs small green branch of a tree a bony a hard black wood shiny wood squeal enjoyment hatchet a short handle axe mutilated damaged paragraph 3 the boy had to work really hard to get twigs and saplings for carry climbing the trees carry only ate tender twigs 
Now as told before it was not easy to collect the twigs and saplings as an elephant never eats the damaged and mutilated sticks so it was a task for the boy to collect them as he only ate the small green and tender twigs the weak twigs and be broken easily one day on a spring it was a month of march the spring season when the boy was collecting the twigs he heard kari calling him the kari started calling him out from a distance which has never happened before he used to lay quiet at the edge of the forest but that day he was calling a boy from a very huge distance he was crying out very loudly the boy thought kari is heard by someone and is calling him for asking for a help now the boy was surprised that why the kari is calling him in such a way he thought that he has been heard by someone or he is in some danger he ran fast to the edge of the forest what he saw kari was missing and when he reached there on his calling he saw that kari was not there he was missing from his place where he had left him he could not be found anywhere he searched for a long time looking here and there but the elephant could not be found anywhere when moving on he went near the water where he used to swim in a river what he saw that something black was struggling above the surface of water and when it rose it was carry so what the boy saw that the struggling thing was carry it seems that he was droning it appeared like the carry is droning in the water but it was impossible for the boy to jump and save such a heavy animal the boy was ready to help his elephant but it was not possible as the elephant was much heavier than the small boy he caught his eyes trumpet struggling to sheer pushed the narrator to the water when the elephant was struggling he came to a shore and what he did he pushed the boy also in the water the boy didn't understand that why he had also pulled him in water when the narrator fell into the stream when he fell down on the stream what he saw he saw a boy lying flat on the bottom of the river he saw that carry was not in danger but he was trying to help a boy who is lying at the bottom of the river he was not dead but he was struggling to come out of the water and was not able to do that and the carry was trying to help that boy and in that order he also pulled the narrator inside so that he could be helped by the narrator the droning boy was being pulled out to the surface by their regular struggle but unluckily the narrator was not a good swimmer he was not a very good swimmer when carry saw the narrator can't swim and is dragged by the stream he lost all his laziness and ponderness nature when the elephant saw that the narrator is not a very good swimmer he is not able to bring the boy out what he did he lost all his laziness his clumsy nature and darted like a hawk like a eagle and pushed both of the boys outside with the help of his trunk he stretched his trunk to get hold on the narrator like a rope he used his trunk just like a strong rope thus saving them from droning and saved both of them from droning now they were on the surface but it was a huge struggle to come to the shore as the narrator didn't know how to swim and the boy who had droned was not conscious to swim swimming and holding the boy helping them swim they had a a rope like structure a lasso around them and what they saw coming to the shore that it was not a rope or something but it was the trunk of carry which helped them to reach the shore and also helped them to swim across the surface of water in such a way carry saved the life of a boy taking the help of the narrator finding that he is not a very good swimmer he gave his trunk as a lasso as a long rope to hold the boys In the second part of the story the narrator shares that being a baby elephant how naughty carry was starting with sixth paragraph carry was a baby elephant so obviously he was mischievous and naughty he needed to learn some good manners to give up his mischievous nature the narrator tried to teach him some good manners so that he should give up his mischievous and naughty behavior paragraph 7 The narrator shares an instance one day Kari got a banana to eat from someone one day someone offered Kari a banana to eat 
He was delighted to eat such a tasty fruit of his choice and soon developed the habit of eating ripe bananas. Now, when he got a banana to eat, he developed the habit of eating it and he had a great love for bananas. Narrator tells they used to keep a large plate of fruit on a table in a dining room near a window. One day, when what happened? All the bananas on the table disappeared. So, the whole family blamed the servants for eating all the fruits in the house. A few days later, again the fruit got disappeared. This incident got repeated again and again. The next time, the blame was put on the narrator. The narrator was angry as he has done nothing. He got a scolding for, not doing, for doing nothing wrong or nuisance. That's why he became angry. When the next time the fruits disappeared, the narrator detected that smashed bananas, some pieces of bananas, peel was found in Carrie's pavilion. He has never served the fruit to carry as Carrie used to eat the twigs only and he has never served the fruit to carry. So how could the peel, the smashed peels be found there? He understood half of the matter. He doubted that maybe it's Carrie who is stolen the bananas. Next day, paragraph 8. When the narrator was sitting on a dining table in the dilemma, confusion to take even a single fruit from the basket, Without his parents' permission, thinking about yesterday's scolding, he was confused to take a single fruit from the basket as he was thinking about the yesterday's scolding which he got when he even didn't took any of the fruit from the basket. He saw a black thing. At that time, he saw something black that appeared near the window and then suddenly disappeared with all the bananas. He crept out. He thought that it is a terrible snake. He saw that whether the snake has gone or has entered their house. Paragraph 9. Going out, what he saw that Kari's back was going towards pavilion. Only the back side of Kari was visible and he was moving towards his pavilion. He ran towards him and what he saw in the pavilion, Kari was enjoying all the bananas. He got to know that it was Kari's trunk that he misunderstood as a black snake. And suddenly he realized that why would the snake eat the fruits as snake never eat bananas. Carrie was caught as a thief. Now Carrie got caught as a thief. He was pulled with ears to be punished by all. His parents also got to know who was the real thief. The boy scolded him over that matter for many weeks. Carrie got scolding for stealing the bananas and fruits for many weeks. He was given the taunt on the matter regularly for certain weeks. Now his pride was injured. Now he was hurted that he has done something wrong. He never stole anything and enjoyed fruits only when given by someone. Now he became good. Now he never stole the fruits. Whenever someone offers him, then only he used to eat the fruits, expressing a thankful gesture to them for giving him such a delighted fruit. He used to give a very thanking gesture to the person who used to serve him the fruit. Paragraph 10. The fact narrator shares here. By sharing this instance of stealing the bananas and accepting the mistake by the elephant, the narrator wants to share with us that an elephant always will to take the punishment. He says that if elephant has done something wrong, he willfully takes his punishment but if we punish him without any reason but any time if we punish him without any reason he remembers it he remembers to take the revenge on you and pay back you in your own coin when the time comes so an elephant can be revengeful if punished without reason and he readily accepts his mistake for done something wrong in the third part of the story Bringing up Carrie, narrator shares how training is important for an elephant. He shares some training acts taught to Carrie. Beginning with paragraph 11, Carrie was domesticated elephant. Now it was the time to train him. He was to be taught when to sit, how to sit, when to walk, how to walk, when to go fast and when to slow down.
an elephant need to be taught all this when he is in small age when he is young as we all begin studying since class nursery when you are small 2 to 3 years old in the same way elephants also need to be taught at the same age when they are young what type of things they are taught if we say dhat to him to an elephant pulling his ear he gradually learns how to sit dhat is a command to make an elephant sit down paragraph 12 similarly saying mali and pulling his trunk forward he gradually learns a signal to walk so saying dhat makes an elephant sit down similarly saying mali makes a signal for an elephant to walk carry learn mali after three lessons he got to know the command how to walk in three lessons but it took three weeks to him to learn the command dhat how to sit down but why it is necessary to make an elephant sit down why it was important for carry to learn this command that to sit down the answer is when elephant grows taller and taller you need a ladder to reach his back so it is better to teach him to sit down so that one can climb upon his back instead of using a ladder again and again when an elephant grows taller you can't even reach his back using your tip toe using your toes to climb up so instead of using the ladder again and again what we can do we can make him learn this command dhat so that he can sit down and one can easily climb over him paragraph 13 the most difficult thing is to teach an elephant a master call now the most difficult thing and time taking training process is to learn a master call What is a master call? The master call is a strange hissing sound and howling sound. It generally takes him an elephant five to uh, six years to learn the master call. Within five to six year, an elephant is readily um, trained to learn the master call. The master call is essential to be learned by an elephant, so that if an elephant is in danger or need to be saved from any danger we can make a master call and he can save himself as well as you from the danger if you or your elephant is lost in the forest making a master call you can easily find each other if you are separated in the forest you can make a master call and your elephant will find you in a few movements the elephant can even pull down the tree in front of him with his trunk when the elephant sees that he is in much danger he hears the master call from a distant place of his master what he does he can even pull down the tree now why the elephant pull down the tree this frightens the animal standing near him or nearby his area and scare them away when the elephant pull down the tree the animals nearby are scared by the sound of the falling tree and he can escape the danger he can either save you or himself from the enemies an elephant can even scare a tiger by pulling a tree down he can even scare a tiger by pulling the tree down hearing his master call pulling the trees down one by one by an elephant can save himself and his master as he can make a road right through the jungle straight to their house the other reason of pulling down the trees elephant sometime does that he pull down the tree one after the other why why he does so so that he can make a way back to his home he is such an intelligent animal that he never forgets his home and can make the trees fall down making his way back to home thus he can save himself as well as his master from any danger it's amazing that elephant is very intelligent and never forgets the way to his home he never forgets his friends and his enemies also he admits his mistake and is always readily able available to apologize to accept his mistake but if it is punished without any reason he become revengeful as we saw in the second part so elephant is of great use to humans it's a domesticated animal in this story and the narrator shares with us that how he grew up along with carry how he gave him the training how he shares his incidents of saving a boy how naughty he was hope you like the story